Hello, and welcome to Nathan's Cooking Show for Poor People. I'm Nathan, and I'm poor. So I'm going to take a look around my poor-ass kitchen and, uh, you know, see what I can scrounge up. Now you'll see we've been able to gather quite a few different ingredients here. We've got ourselves tomato juice, some hamas, uh, oh, oil, you're gonna need oil for, uh, for whatever you do, top ramen, uh, live on that, uh, eggnog, I don't really like eggnog, but you know, work with what we got, <clears throat> artichokes, Yeah. Let's do this. Now one of the key things you're gonna want for any type of good cooking is a, a sharp knife like this. You know, it's it's just a real sharp knife. You're gonna to wanna to be real careful. You're gonna you're gonna to wanna to be real careful with one of these. Uh, now before we start cutting into our potatoes, um, what I like to do is go to your spice cabinet, find your favorite seasoning. I like Italian from the dollar store. Uh, and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you're gonna wanna season your blade real well, just like that. Uh, both sides, obviously, get a real good flavor right on that blade. And then uh, and then just, just start cutting, you know? And what that does is it infuses whatever you're cutting with that seasoning. See, look at that. Now, we just need a couple potatoes. It's already, already looking good. got over here. All right, now we've got our potatoes cut and seasoned. We're gonna get ourselves a pan, uh, and then what you're gonna wanna do, unless you have some fresh oil, you probably have an old pan laying around somewhere, somewhere with some old oil in it. Just take that, you know, pour a little in if you want to. I don't really wanna use any oil, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, but what I'm doing, I'm gonna just take this, turn this on high heat, you know, maximum, just like that pan right back down, and we're going to take one of our artichokes here, put it right in the pan, put a lid on it, just like that, we got ourselves a meal. Now while the artichoke's cooking, let's head back on over to the cutting board, and we're back. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the top ramen, just like this, open it, Discard the seasoning packet. We'll need that for later. Take this bad boy, put it right in the toaster. And we'll come back to that. Now that we have our cooked ingredients, it's time for plating. What we're gonna wanna do here, let me just get the camera down where it should be. First things first, I say we start with the base. We're gonna wanna put the top ramen right there and then carefully place the potato pieces around the bed of top ramen, like so. We can just put that whole potato right there. And then we're gonna take our, our beautiful artichoke, put it right there in the center and just like I said, not to forget. Wow. 
voila. Bon appétit. You're going to want to be real careful. <laughs> As I like to get my favorite seasoning. And <laughs> I can't do this with a straight face. You want to get your favorite seasoning and you want to season that blade real good. You know, just like that. <laughs> Why can't I do this, dude? It's making me laugh too hard. And what you want to do first, you want to go over to the seasoning cabinet, find your favorite spice, just like this. I'm an Italian seasoning kind of guy. What you're going to want to do is you're going to take and you're going to want to see. <laughs>